Hello everyone, I am back and I wanted to discuss the um, challenge that I'm wanting to start on my channel. And this is to encourage you guys to uh, declutter and organize your uh, craft supplies. Um, I'm getting ready to do a different video about how I'm organizing and simplifying my life. Um, and so this of course is part of my life. This is a huge part of my life is my craft room. So I have come up with a challenge that is decluttering 20 categories in 20 days. So within the next 20 days or during 20 days of April, it doesn't have to be every single day, but I'm taking 20 days um, to declutter 20 categories. And what I did was kind of break down 20 categories. Now you guys might not have certain categories and you might have different categories. So you can take this list and make it your own. This is just to give you an example. I know some do not have a huge craft room, some just have a little area, some don't have a lot of supplies, and some have way more supplies than I do. So you will have to just take this list and modify it to fit you, okay? So I'm just gonna run real quickly through this, and I had just recorded a video showing of how I cleaned my desk because that is the first day. And so I went ahead and did my desk, got it cleaned up, and so that is taken care of. The reason I put the desk first, this is where we work, okay? This is the main area, and my desk is usually clean. You know, I will do my projects, and it's filthy, but then I clean up and I do another project. I can't handle um, a lot of clutter because of my OCD, and I have to have a clean slate. So, um, and if not, after one project, it'll be after two projects. So I try to keep my desk clean. Um, and so I think that is very important. And uh, during cleaning uh, my desk off, I made a, a total disaster to get it clean, but that's, you know, what we do. So the first day, um, or the first step, I think, should be the desk. Because even during this time of doing this challenge, some of these things are only going to take five minutes. So it's not like it's gonna be a whole day. It's only gonna take a few minutes of your day. Then you can go back to crafting. And in order to do that, you need a clean desk. So that's where I'm starting. Um, number two, I put glues, gessos, you know, any mediums, um, adhesives, things like that. So, you know, go through them, organize them. If they're kinda everywhere, put them in one spot, throw away anything that's old. Um, you know, things like that. You know, I'm not trying to say get rid of everything you have by no means because we, ne we need our supplies. But if there are things that you've had forever, you're not gonna use, if they're still good, donate them. If they're not, trash them. Um, punches and die cuts. Now, I have a lot of punches and I definitely need to organize mine. They're in one space, but they're a mess. So I'm gonna organize my punches. I, have a, I do not have a die cut machine as of yet, so I don't have die cuts, but I know some of you do. So I put those in the same day because, um, you know, organizing your punches is not gonna take very long. Um, so I just added those in to one day. I tried to double up some things. Uh, the next day is stamps and ink. So that's rubber stamps, clean stamps, anything like that, you know, organize them. If you've not used them, donate them, sell them, whatever you wanna do. Uh, and organize the rest. You know, if you have ink pads that's no longer any good or you don't use, you know, trash them, donate them, whatever. Uh, paint supplies would be uh, the fifth day. And, you know, that could be your paints, your paint brushes, um, anything that you use, like your paint palettes, anything like that that you want to organize. Um, I do have mine organized into one container, but I need to go through the paint. Some of the paint's old, so I need to go through and get rid of that. Um, wallpaper, I made that one day because I do have a lot of uh, vintage wallpaper and even modern wallpaper, and I really want to go through and organize it in a better way. Um, day seven is postage stamps and envelopes. And I put those together because it's literally not going to take five minutes to do postage stamps for me. I just actually organized mine into, I don't even know if I can get it, well, one of these all my vintage postage stamps is in one of these. So that was very easy for me. Some people want to put them in the little ephemera holders. You know, that's fine. It might take you longer, but um, I wanted mine all together. Just open it up and go through it. So mine is actually already organized and I did that cleaning my desk off. 
um, envelopes, however, is another story. So that's gonna take me a little longer. So I just kind of put those into one day. Um, number eight is digital kits. And I'm gonna get this out because what I do is all my digital kits I put in, I know this is really close, but these little plastic um, like pockets, this is all my um, design team stuff from Cheap La Chic. Um, I just keep all of my extra bits and stuff in here. And then every time I do digitals and print them off, I put them in one of those. And for example, this one is Tina's. So all of my Shabby Dabby Doo Doll stuff goes into here. Um, and then I just keep little um, folders in there uh, to separate categories. But I do have tons and tons in here that are empty and I just need to go through them. Um, and maybe take off the label and relabel them. So have all, all of Artie Mays in one, you know, and all of uh, Country at Heart in one and etc. So I wanna take a day, well not a day, a couple minutes in a day to organize that. Number nine is ephemera, playing cards and library cards. And the list goes on and on and on. Anything that you consider ephemera that you put into your journals, which I just showed you uh, in my last video, my um, countertop over there that has all my different ephemera. So I really need to go through and organize it, but I just sat it over there. Uh, so that is in one day uh, by itself because we have a lot of ephemera. A junk drawer. So if you have a junk drawer, junk uh, container, whatever, get it out, go through it one day and find a new spot for it or get rid of things. Um, now 11 is kind of not really a category, but an area but it is my sewing table, and that is because I want to organize all my threads. So my threads and my bobbins are just kind of thrown um, in my drawer and on top of my sewing table, so I wanna go through those. Uh, my fabric, linens, and doilies is the next day, and that is also in my sewing table. So I have drawers with all fabric that I need to go through and organize and get rid of make fabric scrap packs, which I'm getting ready to sell on my Instagram. They're gonna be really, really cheap. Um, so you might wanna follow me on Instagram for that. Um, lace, ribbon, and trims. So I'm gonna take a day to go through all my lace, all my ribbons, and all my trims. And I have tons of ribbon and trims I just don't need. Um, so I'm gonna go through and start getting rid of that stuff and organizing what's left. Uh, buttons and notions. And so I have most of my buttons. I've showed you in another video. They are in little mason jars. And then I have my vintage buttons here, but there are some buttons that I need to really go through and decide if I want or not. Um, notions, you know, I'm just talking little bits and pieces of things that, you know, you have around your craft room that you might use like embellishments and stuff. Uh, so that's what that is. And then day 15 is paper scraps and that could be a week right guys like one whole week of just paper scraps um, but I have thrown all of my paper scraps into one container and I'm gonna start over <laughs> I've done a bunch of scrap packs before with all my scrap paper but of course we always have scraps always so I'm getting ready to start a series on busting your scraps and um, building your stash and it's gonna do both at the same time which is awesome uh, paper pads. So going through your paper pads, you just look through and if you, you know, there's something in you don't want or you're not using, donate it, sell it, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, but there's a lot that I know I want to go through and just get rid of. So that's one area I'm looking at. Books and magazines is another. I have tons and tons of vintage books. Um, not as many as other people's you know, stash that I've seen, but I have magazines and things, and there's just things I'm not going to use. So I'm going to donate them, sell them, whatever. Uh, 18 is stickers, ribbon, no, rub ons, I'm sorry, and washi. So all the stickers we have, for an example, I just bought these, and I bought these on AliExpress a while back, but um, you know, all my stickers that I use for different embellishments and stuff. Um, I actually put all my stickers of this kind in here, but to organize your stickers however you want. I also have a, um, a folio that I have a bunch of stickers in that way. Um, my rub-ons, I'm putting them all in one area so I can find them, and then my washi. Now, I don't have a lot of washi in my craft room. Most of my washi is in my desk in my bedroom, which is for my Bible journaling. So I only keep a few things in here for... Um, 
me to use, but I do switch things in and out. So what I'm gonna do is just switch some of my washi out and bring it in. That'll take two seconds. Uh, 19 is napkins and tissue paper. So all of my paper napkins um, and tissue paper I use for collaging and some of my tissue paper I use to wrap up my journals and things to mail, but I do wanna organize that drawer. Uh, the last but not least is my holiday supplies. So we're looking at mainly Christmas for me. I do have fall uh, themed supplies also, but that's it. I don't do Easter, uh, like Easter bunny stuff. I don't do that. I do springtime, but it stays with all my stuff because I do shabby chic. So it pretty much all goes together. But I keep all of my Christmas supplies and all of my fall time uh, supplies like for Thanksgiving. I keep all that um, in two huge drawers and they need organized. I've got stuff in there I'll never use and it's just kind of thrown in there after Christmas. I threw everything in there and shut, the, you know, I shut that thing and like don't open that. It's all going to come everywhere. So yeah, I've got to go through that. So these are the categories that I'm going to work on for 20 days. And like I said, you've got the whole month of April, so you don't have to do it starting today and in 20 days be done. Do it through the month of April. It's only 20 days. This stuff is not gonna take you very long. If you need two days to do your ephemera or whatever, take two days, you know, don't do it for hours and wear yourself out. Just take a little bit of time and go through this stuff. You will be surprised how much weight is lifted off of you when you start simplifying your life. You know, the one thing I can't really simplify much is my craft room because this is my business. But um, it still has to be done. Like, I'm overwhelmed. I have things I don't need that other people could use. So I am definitely focusing on the things that I use now and not the things that I bought in the beginning that now I don't even use. I don't buy paper pads very often at all. I might buy uh, one paper pad and one paper pad that's actual uh, cardstock and that's about it like I'm going through what I have and uh, usually the only time I buy a new paper pad is when Prima comes out with something because I'm a Prima addict but um, yeah so just this is just for inspiration T you know we've got the time to do this um, with everything that's going on we really need to relieve um, or relieve anxiety and stress that's in our life so the more things you have, the more stress and anxiety you're going to have. And I think this is the perfect way to spend some of our time each day. You could take five minutes. It might take 20, but take some time and try to simplify some of your supplies. So anyone that is going to join me, please comment below. Um, I might start a hashtag for this. Um, but I would like to challenge other people to join in. So um, I don't know who I want to challenge yet because I know everybody's busy. Um, there's two people that I'd like to challenge, which is Emily and Dee Dee. So if you girls are um, up for that, um, and you don't have to do all 20 days if you can't, but if you can just do a couple um, and you know spread this challenge throughout so other people can do it, whether they're crafters, um, YouTubers, you know, that craft, whatever, and we can just help each other. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this challenge. I hope that it helps you simplify your life so you have less stress. Remember, less is more. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.